what's included in my healthy grocery shop food haul? Well, stick around and we're going to talk about it. But before we get into that, let's look at today's scripture, which is Psalms 104 and 14. The Bible says, He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, and the herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. I thought that scripture was so fitting that he feeds all of us, the Lord. He feeds the cattle, the, you know, all the animals, all the insects, fish, whatever, human beings, everything. The Lord provides food for them all. I wanted to take you on a trip to the grocery store and then I wanted to show you a few things that I bought. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing I want to talk about, because I was so excited, I found them, and I know they're everywhere. But So I usually go to Aldi and Fresh Time. So I get what I can at Aldi, and I'll kind of pick out those things first, and then I'll show you what I have to go to Fresh Time to get, because they're more specialty items. But Aldi, I found some little bento boxes. So I wanted the two compartments, so my guess is this is a half cup, and this is probably about a cup. So anyway, the next time I do food prep, I've got some containers with some lids because I was running out of all my glass ones. These are plastic, I know, but they're BPA free. So we'll go with that. I don't use them too, too often anyway. So really the only lettuces I get anymore are these little guys. So it's got the purple and the green little heads. It's just artisan lettuce. But I do like them, and again, I look for a lot of the color for my lettuces. I got a big pack of onions, but whatever. I've had to kind of put some of this stuff away. So I always get a big bag, bag, bag box, whatever, of like five or six onions. And then I got my bananas. I always get my cilantro there because, yes, I love cilantro. And I made my salsa. So what else? They started carrying ginger, so I got me some ginger. It's so, so stinking good for you. And then Aldi has the three pack of the peppers. I don't usually even buy the green peppers because these, the colors, again, has more nutrition in them. I always get then my English cucumbers because I... The skin's thinner, so I like this cucumber better, and the seeds aren't those big, icky seeds. So I got that. I always get my green onion. That and my cilantro is a staple. Most of what I buy, they're staples because I get them all the time. I do get my little chair of tomatoes that I love um, at all day because I just can. And then, ooh, I found some more fun stuff. So let's get to these. So, 90 second. These are all pre-cooked, pre-measured. So there's a, probably a little more sodium. Yeah, this one's kind of high in sodium. But this is barley and lentils, 90 seconds. So I thought I could mix this up and add another like can of beans to it to give it more protein and then just this container itself, it says it's one serving 22 grams of protein. 22 grams of protein. There are 460 calories, so it's, you know, high calorie. It is definitely high carb, um, 78 grams of carbs. However, 18 grams of fiber. This will get you moving. Okay, always have my seven grain. I just... I pick these up probably every time I go. And then I found, I have not tried this, so it's 90 second farro, which is another grain. This one, again, the whole package, it's one serving, 480 calories, 16 grams of protein in a grain. So I'm like you, I, again, I was gonna split this up. It's about 480 calories, so it's kinda high, and carbs are 95. 
Carbs are not bad. You need, this would be considered like a whole grain carb. These are the carbs you need, not that cookie or that white flour pasta. If you buy the bean pastas, or at least the whole wheat, whole grain pastas, you're gonna get more protein and more nutrition. But anyway, again, I was gonna put this, it kind of reminds me of like barley. So I'm like, you know, you can put this, maybe half it up, put it in with some rice, or you could throw any of these grains Guys, you can throw, you know, a little scoop, a third or a fourth of it in your salad and just help get more whole grain carbs and proteins and just things to make you feel fuller and longer and fiber. Farro has 12 grams of fiber. This barley and lentils, 18 grams of fiber. You need more fiber. So get those. I was so excited. And then I found these little guys. Um, these are hearts of palm spaghetti noodles, I guess. This one is lasagna and this one's angel hair pasta. I actually wanted the linguine and I picked up the wrong one. They had all three. I should have just got all three. But these are for you guys that want to do low carb. So this, I mean, hearts of palm, it's going to give you a veggie serving. So that's good. These are lasagna sheets, so I thought it says there's three three servings per each of these. So I can make a little pot, pot of lasagna for like myself or if my husband wants to eat it with me. And like the angel hair pasta. So again, these are both 20 calories a serving. So this whole container each is only 60 calories. So if you are doing low carb, you're going to get an extra veggie. You're going to get hardly any calories. These have only two grams of fiber and there's only one gram of protein. So they're not high fiber. They're not high protein, but they're just going to fill you up for like no calories hardly. And it's not that bad white flour. So I thought I'm going to give these a whirl and see how they are. I think everything else I got at fresh time. So let's get on to that. So I picked up, it's baby kale and spinach, but again, it was, you know, six bucks. These are pretty cheap for the organic and I can just grab, you know, a handful, throw it in something and go. And if this starts to get kind of funky before I can eat it all, this is the stuff I throw in the freezer. It's not bad yet, but it's starting to get a little wilted and won't be good in a salad. But I'm like, a smoothie, you're blending it all up, you know, throwing it in there, not gonna matter. So I did get that. I've got some red Russian kale and my dinosaur kale still growing in the garden. I'm keeping it covered. For now, they're doing okay. So I didn't buy any of that. So I did get, I love my red romaine lettuce. So I always buy that organic from Fresh Time. And then I got my red organic again, the Swiss chard. I always just buy all the colors, um, mainly the reds and the purples, all those deep colors to get all those antioxidants. And then Fresh Time always has my julienne carrots for my salad, so I use about a half a bag, and it is 10 ounces. So again, just something easy. I started getting my potatoes and sweet potatoes from Fresh Time so I can just buy a couple at a time and not have to get a big old bag because I don't always use, always use them. I do buy those little duos at Aldi. They're red and like a Yukon Gold, little baby potatoes. I do love those things, so I have to get that. And then I started getting my asparagus from Fresh Time. Got these actually at IGA, so I bought them the other day, but I'm like, I am loving the Brussels sprouts. And I always get the red organic, um, Red cabbage, purple cabbage, whatever you call it. Iced, organic red cabbage, it says. So we'll call it red. But that again, for my salads, love it. And then I was making a salsa. So I got 
more of my fire roasted organic tomatoes. These Muir Glen, I don't know, I really like these tomatoes. They're really good. So, but I had to get that at Fresh Chime. And my new obsession is the Kite Hill, the Everything Cream Cheese. It is vegan, it is made with almond milk. And I didn't realize Kite Hill has sour cream. So I'm gonna try that that says almond and coconut base. So again, these are both dairy free because I do have that lactose intolerance. I'm trying to stay away from it anyway. And then I found some butter sticks, my Earth Balance. So I've always bought their regular butter like to put on my toast and like when we have spaghetti, I just toast a couple pieces of bread, butter it with this guy, put some garlic powder. If you like the salt, use garlic salt. I wanted to start using, I'm gonna make some vegan cookies. So I needed a butter substitute. So we're gonna try this. And then the other thing is the egg. So I am gonna use the flax egg and not tell my husband and just make the cookies and see what he thinks. But I was a big fan of real butter when I made my cookies because they just made them thicker. I don't know how this stuff cooks. If you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments. And then of course, I always have to get my tempeh because I just like it better. It's fermented, um, it's organic, and it's got more protein than like tofu. So this is just another soy alternative. Um, I think that was pretty much it. Oh no, my I'm trying some flaxseed milk. I don't know if this is any good. And I saw a hemp seed milk in there, and I or a hemp milk, and I buy the hemp seeds. So I'm like, you know, I got flax seeds always. I would bet if you mix those up, like maybe grind this up, the flax seeds, and mix it with water. Who knows? I don't know. I'll have to experiment with some of this stuff. But this one I liked because it's got pea protein added. So this is actually eight grams of protein per serving. So it's a little high in fat because the flax seeds have oils, but they have the good oils. I'm trying to see. So I know, oh look, it's got 1200 milligrams of the omega-3s. So that way, getting all those omega-3s in there because everybody gets the omega-6s which is in like any kind of vegetable oil and things like that but most people are low on the omega-3s and I know you need a certain ratio of maybe two to one your sixes to your threes and people are like 10 to 0.5 you know they just they never have that right balance so um, definitely make sure you get your omega-3s and the highest sources are flax seeds and hemp seeds and walnuts, things like that. So get those nuts and seeds in your meals every day. So that is it for my grocery haul. So let me know in the comments. Our comment question is, what does your healthy grocery shop food haul look like? Let's talk about it in the comments below. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know you care and show some of your love. If you know anybody who would like this type of content, please forward my video to them. And if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button so you will know every time another video is uploaded. And speaking of the next video, my next video is gonna be my serious ab routine and another full day of eating. So until then, stay tuned and we'll see you next time. So, and then,